Hello and once again welcome to Srikan Infographic. Today we are going to see this chapter first next concept and that concept is Newton's universal law of gravitation. Actually Newton is helped by Johannes Kepler's laws formulated by him that three laws. That three laws helps Newton a lot to derive the mathematical formula of the gravitation and also to clear the concept of gravitation. So Kepler uh, contributed a lot. So today we are going to see Newton's universal law. What is the law actually and how it is formulated. So let's see the law. This is Newton's law of gravitation. Every object in the universe attracts every other object with a definite force. This force is directly proportional to the product of the masses of the two objects and is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. So two concepts are here, three concepts actually. Every object in the universe attracts every other objects with definite force. So that is called gravitational force and this force is directly proportional to the product of the masses and it is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. So this is the gravi gravitational law, it's very easy and from this law, uh, look at this figure actually, this figure uh, denotes this law. So two objects are here, for example two planets or a star or a planet, sun or a planet having masses m1 and m2 and the force between them and the distance d is between them. So the law states that the force between them that is gravitational force is directly proportional to the product of the masses. So this is m1 and m2 it's a product of these two objects masses and force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance square of the distance between them. So mathematically we can say that force equal to g m1 into m2 divided by d square. So that m1 and m2 the masses of the two products and d square is the distance between that two objects oh, and here g. So what is g? Here g is, the, g is called as universal gravitational constant. So it's a constant and hold this mathematically and theoretically this is the law of gravitation which is stated by Newton. So uh, we'll see the value of g. So value of g in SI unit, the value of g is Newton meter square kilogram negative square and actually Henry Cavendish measured this value and that value is 6.673 into 10 raised to minus 11 Newton meter square kilogram negative square. So this is the value derived by the Newton, uh, sorry, Cavendish mathematically. So we, uh, look at this formula, if the masses are doubled then force will also double because force is directly proportional to the masses. But if the distance is doubled between them then force will be decreased by the factor of 4. So actually gravitational force is a very weak force but it controls whole universe. So this thing happen here and whole this concept is called as Newton's universal law of gravitation. In our next video, we will see how uh, Newton's law of gravitation is helped by Kepler's third law. So Kepler's third law uh, about the planetary movement of the planets or objects really helps him to derive this inversely proportional square of the distance. So how he derived it, we will watch it later. And one more thing to add, when the bodies are spherical in shape, then their force is attracted towards the center joining their masses. So center of the masses. If the shape is irregular, then their whole mass is uh, centered at something, some concentrated at some point. That line joining these two centers of the object, so the force is acting more on them. So this is the difference between the irregular shape and the spherical masses. Actually, we uh, assume that if a irregular shape of a body is there, then its whole mass is concentrated at one point or at the center of the circle. So center of the object. 